Hi everybody, I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about energy because energy, frankly speaking, is what makes the world go round. We say money makes the world go round, love makes the world go round. Well, everything that you put your energy in makes the world go round. And whatever it is that you put your energy in, it goes places. The world is filled with molecules and the molecules in the air can transfer energy and positive energy has a different frequency than negative energy love for example has the highest frequency so when you have people saying prayer works it's proven that prayer works well you know what do you do when you pray you transfer love or you try to or you 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 give positive energy to somebody and it travels so I do definitely believe that it makes a big difference and it can work. Now, the other thing is that energy is one of the things so misinterpreted that when we don't truly look at energy travel as a fact, we are bound to be misled by somebody. Somebody who misinterprets to us what we experience. And when you, for example, have an experience that you cannot explain like let's say you know people say they saw something coming when it started happening my explanation or a explanation that I consider very plausible is that when people somewhere are planning to do something for you or to you or against you you can somehow pick up on it because you can sense that there's energy moved towards you and if you have the ability to disconnect yourself or disassociate yourself a little bit from the world that's being presented to you or that you're being bombarded with every single day that sort of sidetracks you from your own antenna that picks up these kind of energies you can easily walk through life sort of understanding what's coming or sort of understanding what kind of position in this world you're in at the moment considering the energy surrounding you. Now, there are so many phrases that have become so watered down that we hear them, we publicly agree with them, but we really don't know what it means, right? I mean, when people say, oh, we are all connected, you know, well, it sounds something that Madonna had said in the 90s, you know, and it, it sounded really, really cool. But who took it seriously? Whoever took a minute to think about these things? Well, the truth is we are all connected. There is a certain balance of energies in this world that connects all of us together, all of us human beings, and maybe even the animals. I do not know. Well, I don't, I, I don't want to go into this subject matter. But there are these sort of energies that we do pick up on if somebody dies or some something happens that you know we connect with somewhere else in the world you know these kind of things we kind of can get a feeling for where things are headed or where we may be able to fit in and I don't know I mean if you ever had this experience that where you were somewhere you never been before but you felt sort of at home there or like you've been there before you know well maybe it is simply that you were drawn to a place where you fit in at the moment and somehow it's something that you picked up on. You know, I've had experiences like that. And, you know, of course the problem is that when you tell people about these things, they like to interpret it whichever way fits their belief system. Now, let's say you... Well, you know what? I'm, I'm saving the rest for the next video. Thank you, guys for watching this one and feel free to leave me a comment and tell me what you think.